It's time for another one of those spooky games that make you duke in your britches. Oh, how I love my job. <laughs> Let's just jump in and see what this game's all about. What's up, guys and gals, and welcome to The Outer Middle Show. Mad Vlad is the name, and Rise of Insanity is the game. And in today's episode, I have no idea what we're in for today. A lot of you guys told me to check this game out. I thought I had already played it. The name sounded familiar. But come to find out, never played it, never seen it, never heard of it. Now, upon installing this game, I hit new game, and uh, yeah, so whatever. That's as far as I've gotten. But I backed out. I'm ready to go. Let's jump in. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Let's do this. New game. Warning, this game contains frightening scenes and sudden increase of tension. People with a weak heart and epilepsy problems are advised to not play. You can pause and read that if you want. Hold left mouse button to skip. Relax. And calm down. Calm all your senses. My name is Dr. Stephen Dowell. Hi, Stephen. You are here because your disorders started to get out of control. You ceased to behave normally, and disturbing thoughts took control of you. You will undergo my original therapy. I will show you the film I created. And at the end, you will tell me what feelings you have while watching it. And if you saw anything worrying. Okay. Let's... Let's get this going. So far, I like it. We got some birds. Got some fire. Oh, a bear! I don't like that. I don't like bears. Okay, I don't like the music either. Spiders? I don't like spiders. Ugh. God, it's so loud. Okay. Yeah, I didn't I didn't like that, Doctor. Doctor McDougal or whatever your name was. Okay. So here we are. Wow, this game looks really good. Graphics are amazing. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Got some notes. Patient Edward. Preliminary interview is checked off. Initial diagnosis checked off. Test a new therapy. Waiting for results. Okay, so our patient is Edward. Okay. The patient's data. Edward. 41 years old. Day, September 1st. I know Edward as far back as I remember. He worked as a gardener in our neighborhood. From the preliminary interview, I got to know that he suffers from a dream disorder. He has constant nightmares and can't sleep well, as well as a memory disorder. Sometimes he doesn't remember what happened a couple of days or hours ago. I have some suspicions connected with this case, but it's too early for the detailed diagnosis. Okay, so our patient is Edward. Are we the therapist? Are we Mr. Ronald McDougan? What is this? The Breed and Birds Taxidermy. Ah, cool. Oh, on your seventh? What is that? Let's, okay, hit F to read text. Okay. Breeding Birds and Birds Taxidermy by Richard Birdman. <laughs> so stupid. All the best on your seventh birthday. Happy birthday, Stephen. Dad. Stephen. So, we've got... Is, was that our dad gave us that book? I don't, I don't know. Whatever. I don't know if we're Steven or what. Ah, it's one of those therapist pictures. 
You know when they ask you what you see? I see it looks like poop that was smeared on a piece of paper and folded in half. <laughs> I say that to every one of them because that's what it looks like. Okay, it's a very nice office. Let's get out of here. Okay, okay. I don't know what we're searching for. Wow, look at this thing. That's, that's pretty creepy. Well, let's put that back. This looks like uh, maybe early 80s. I don't know. Uh, Psycholozine. Dr. Dowell launches new experimental treatment method. Okay. Is that the video I just watched, maybe? Do not cross crime scenes. Okay. So we've got... Uh, We've got crime scene tape in here. I don't know if that's uh, a good thing or not. Family's tragedy. A mother and child were murdered, and the violator was... Father and child, or child and mother, is that what he said? I don't know. Let's just keep looking around. Let's check the doors. Oh, look at this. This place is nice. Okay, let's hit F so we can read it better. I can't read that cursive crap. I would like to remind you that you gave me a free hand in the development of one part of the garden. Therefore, my decision was to mainly plant Deli Deli Delilahs? I don't know. I have uh, accentuated them with Clementis flowers. I surrounded everything with white poppies. Uh, you will be delighted, Edward. Okay, so that's the gardener he was talking about. Good old Edward. Mm, just searching around. I don't know what we're looking for. I don't know what we're Honey, doing. Please turn off the TV. It's gonna be stormy. What? Who said that? Was that was that the TV telling me to turn the TV off? Okay, I just did it. Oh my God. Phone. Phone. Where's the phone? Oh, here it is. Am I talking with Dr. Stephen Dowell? Uh, yeah. I'm assuming that's me. Where are we? Okay. Uh, let's listen to the recording. Patient Edward 41. Day, September 11th. Patient has told me about his dreams where he tries to murder his wife and child. As far as he said before, he's a bachelor and he hasn't said anything about children. It could be some traumatic memory from his childhood. I have to get to know about it during our next meeting. It is a harder case than I expected. Some symptoms indicate that the patient can possess a multiple personality. But these are only suspicions. I have to ask my friend, Abraham. Abraham. Okay, so I'm assuming that there's going to be some big twist to this. They keep talking about the Edward dude or whatever, the the gardening dude, and it's it's kind of confusing. Okay, it is nothing certain. Please come to the morgue for identification purposes. <sighs> morgue, huh? Oh god, look at this. Dear Abraham, I apologize for not having written so long. I was occupied with family and work matters and did not have enough time i trust that you are okay how is life or how is your wife berta <laughs> berta i currently have a case of cert of a certain patient edward smeared he is 41 years old he is re reporting problems with sleeping and memory i noticed he seems to have certain minor ticks there are some when he suddenly and strangely moves the small finger on his left hand he told me about a nightmare that he has, that has been haunting him for some time. It is the only dream that he is able to remember. He told me that he had attempted to kill his wife and child in that dream. However, he has not been able to do it. He constantly, or, yeah, constantly wakes up before the very end. It is very strange because Edward is actually a bachelor and does not have a wife or does not have any children. What do you think of this? My assumption is that these are the beginnings of schizophrenia or multiple personality disorders. However, you are the only one who has more experience in, in psycho 
path pathology. Uh, best regards, Stephen Dow. Okay, so we're writing another therapist, Abraham, that's apparently his friend, uh, and telling him about this case, the the Edward case. Uh, alcohol effects is a drug effect. <laughs> okay, I don't drink. All right, let's see. What's this? Oh my God, that's a, that's a dead body. <laughs> I'm gonna stay away from that room. Search around. What does it say? St. Jonah Hospital. Okay. What do we have here? Vision can be saved. 50% of babies born with syphilis have impaired eyesight. Okay. That's weird. Okay. Nothing in there. Let's keep moving. She may look clean, but... Picks up what? Hold on. Picks up good time prostitutes. Spread syphilis and gonorrhea. You can't beat the axis if you get if you get VD. <laughs> oh my God! Somebody's got the clap. Let's uh let's <laughs> let's keep moving. This elevator work. Aha! Oh God! I hate elevators. Oh God! I don't like this. Oh my god, I hate this. What? Yeah! Like, get me off this thing. Oh my god. Um. Let's go in here! Yeah! Let's hit. <gasps> Yeah, let's let's go right in here. Oh no, a rubber ducky. What was that? Oh God, I don't like this. Please don't jump out. Please. I'm a good boy. I promise. A key to her heart is located where your journey began. Uh, okay, thank you. Is that is that blood? Oh, what's this? Shh. Another one of those poopy paintings or pictures, whatever. Anything in here? What, what is this? A choo-choo train. That's not a Thomas train. That's a Dillard train. <laughs> oh, God. My heart's beating. Pretty fast. Press LMB to skip. Okay. Uh, let's try 666. Usually in horror games, that's the go-to combination. And that is not the combination. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so that's a dead end. Let's, let's go back. And hopefully... <laughs> What the hell was that? Hello? There's a dead crow right there. Yeah, let's let's <laughs> let's let's get let's get to the elevator. I want to go back up. Yeah, <laughs> let's get out of there. So we're looking for a combination of some sort. I really hate this elevator. Oh my god, get me off this thing. Oh god. What happened? Must have closed out the game. What was that all about? Yeah. Ah. <gasps> Let's go in here. It's just an automatic door. 
What is this? We already read this, I think. Check eyesight. Room six. Okay. Room six. We've already been in here. What are we looking for? Ooh. Oh. Mother and seven-year-old son murdered. That's fantastic. You know, I keep hearing about this case. And I have no idea. Oh, there's the combination right there. 629. Okay, let's get back down here. On this wonderful elevator. Come on, man. I know something's going to happen. I'm not stupid. I really hate this. My God. Is it just me or does it look darker down here? Let's just, let's just go. I'm gonna run. I don't know if that's a good idea. What was the combination again? I have 88. Huh? I have ADHD. What was the combination? 629? I think that was it. Yes, yes! Let's get in here. Oh, oh my God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think I just shit myself. I'm not going in there. <laughs> nope. I don't want to go in there. There's a body. Why are the lights flickering? Oh, God. Let's read this. What is this? Hit F. No match. No match for what? Dental records. Okay, so I can't read that name, but apparently they didn't find a match to what they were looking for. So let's, let's put that down. Nobody's in here. Okay. So the body melted. That's, that's what dead bodies do. They sometimes just melt like that. Oh, looks like that fell over. We can't get over here. Let's open the door. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> the hell was that? <laughs> I think I need to take a break. Yep, I'm taking a break. All right, I'm back. What is this? A crow with a mouse coming out of his wing? I'm confused. I and mean, pictures of crows everywhere. Huh? Oh, oh, I'm flying. I'm flying! I'm a crow! Caw -caw! I'm a crow! I am not a crow. Just to let you know, for the record. Where, where am I? If I'm a crow, why am I in a cave? Shouldn't I be a bat, maybe? I'd rather be a bat than a stupid crow. This is weird. This is really strange, man. I'm, try I'm trying to be funny, but it's not working because I'm not. Hello? Honey, gain control over him, please? Huh? Oh. Hey, this is where the menu screen was. Cool. We are in a creepy garden of some sort. Yep. It's one of those walkthrough gardens. Okay. Let's get in through here. Looks like it's locked. So we gotta find a key. Fantastic! 
Well, let's go this way. Oh, man, dude. Mm. My butthole. My poor butthole. It's non-existent right now. Uh-oh. We've got a dude. Sir! Sir! I need a key. You wouldn't happen to have a key, would you? You shouldn't be here. Beware. You talking to me, sir? Sir? Yes. God! He threw a shovel at me. What was he doing over here? God, the music in this game, dude, is insane. Oh, what's this? Key! Yes! God, that gets me every time. Okay, found a, another rubber ducky. Do I have a flashlight or something? God! Just calm down. We're gonna be alright. We're gonna make it. What? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just keep moving. Let's just keep on moving. <laughs> uh, I hope this is the right key. What's that sound? Daddy, play with me. <laughs> what? Is that you, son, Dylan? Or whatever your name was. I told you not to play out here in the garden. What's this? Okay. Where is the border between a dream and reality? What is our life? Is it that what is dreamt? Or that what we dream about? Tell me, dear Susan. Uh, what would you do if you couldn't sleep? Would you be able to take control over the dream? That does not come. But haunt you? Eddie. So, wait a minute. Who's he writing this to? Susan. So, Eddie's talking to Susan? Tell me, dear Susan. What, so, Susan's my wife. I'm confused. Why, why, is, why is Susan or Eddie talking to Susan? Certificate of death. Theodore Dowell. Age 7. Ugh. Place of death. Family home. Cause of death. Strangulation in sleep. Wow. I wonder what my death certificate's gonna say. I gotta make that awesome. Did a sailor dive butt naked off a yacht. <laughs> Landed on a great white shark. <laughs> I really hope that doesn't happen. But I kinda do. <laughs> Whatever. Daddy, all right. why did you allow him? Why did you allow what, son? What did, who allowed what? You're not supposed to be out here, son. This is, uh, it's the greenhouse. Oh God, something's gonna happen. What, what am I doing? Let's get out of here. <laughs> I'm getting out of <laughs> That great windows button. That's twice. I think I broke my hand. Ow. Where, where's the phone at, man? I gotta disable that Windows button. Let's let's keep pushing. Wow, there's a phone out Daddy. here. Daddy! Daddy! He's here! He's back! Who is back? Who is back? So who strangled who strangled my kid? Since uh, my son is apparently dead, and he died. All right, let's read this. Theodore is a very talented child. He is very calm, and he has the character of a dreamer. The only thing that disturbs me is the shadowy shape, which often appears in his drawings. It's probably a character from a comic book or something. Nothing to be worried about. So we've got a shadowy man, a murderer, 
Uh, who is the shadowy man? Is the shadowy man the murderer? What do we got here? Ah, oh, yeah, there he is. Mr. Shadow Man! Looking at the red ball. My hand is really hurting right now. Okay, let's go. What are we doing here? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Cheap ass drywall nails. <laughs> the light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. Uh yeah. Yeah, let's <laughs> let's go in here. Ah! Sir? Why is my nose itching? Sir? Sir, can I help you, sir? Ah! Okay, I'm sorry. Ah! <sighs> what happened? We back in the room? What did we do? Did we die? <gasps> Yeah, I think we died. Okay, so the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. So, I'm confused. So we got to shine light in the room? <laughs> I don't know. Let's, let's search around. I don't want to go back in there. What's this? Dear Mrs. Dowell, I am very pleased that you fancy my floral composition. I received your comments and further recommendations. I will plant... Rodundundundurons as you wish. I don't know what kind of flower that is. I will have to drive my car in front of the greenhouse to move the seedlings. I hope you do not mind, Edward. So, there, man, there's a lot of messages between Edward and my wife. So maybe Edward's the killer. Missing fuses. Ah, okay. So we've got to turn the lights back on. Let's go down here. God, I hate advancing and always ah, some big ass rats. Okay, what do we got in here? Looks like found another rubber ducky. God, that scares me every time. What is this? Some kind of combination. Got some valves. Yeah, they don't do nothing. Okay. Push on in here. We got in here. Oh, yeah. What is this? Is that the Shadow Man? If that's the Shadow Man, I don't ever want to meet him. That is disturbing. Both those pictures are. What is this? Dear Stephen, my wife is very well as usual. Let's move to the essence of the case. You should remember that we have a similar case in the past. It was the case that you took active part in. What? We are overworked, you might have forgotten. I think that you should, within the use of suggestion, help your patient to finish the dream. What? Hypnosis can be too uh, invasive. Try to ask him about his past. Accepting traumatic events he has experienced could be the starting point in merging his different selves. Looking forward to your next letter. Okay, so this is a letter from Abraham to me about uh, Edward, right? So apparently he has multiple personalities, okay, and he's a psychopath. What is this? Disturbing effects of the new treatment method. The treatment method of uh, severe psychological disorders by Dr. Stephen Dowell is based on applying strong visual stimuli to the patient. It is aimed at putting the patient in a hypnotic trance during which he stands face to face with his fears and deepest thoughts. The result of the treatment, however, are far from expectations. So far, following therapeutic sessions with the doctor's film, patients have plunged into apathy, depression, or experienced epilepsy attacks continuing a long time after the appointment. The main association of psychologists is watching Dr. Stephen Dowles with anxiety. Uh, the plan to meet with the author of his controversial research. Okay, so the research is from Abraham, maybe? And he's practicing it. Is that the video that we watched in the beginning? So were we viewing that through somebody else's eyes? Maybe Edwards? I don't know. Let's keep pushing. 
you got a mirror. Let's see, what do we got? What do we got? I got another crow. That's excellent. Looking for ah yes fuses. I'm sorry. What the hell was that? Ah. Uh, steam pipe broke. Wonder if uh, those valves have anything to do with it. They didn't work before. Ah, yeah, okay, I got you. So what's the combination? Up, round, and enter. Okay. So let's let's try this. I don't know if the black is up or the white is up. We'll we'll do the black first. Okay, so black in in in. No way out. Is that it? Yes. Wow, that was uh that was easy. And we've got a dead rat right there. Oh god. I'm just waiting for something to happen. Let's put these fuses in. There we go. Let there be light. Now the room should be Yes! Room's fine. Okay, let's uh, keep pushing. Ah, oh, look at the sunlight. It looks great. Patient oh. Edward 41. Taking some pieces of advice from my friend Abraham, I established that Eddie suffers from a very mild split personality disorder. The other personality hasn't shown yet and hasn't taken him under control. There are only problems with memory and mild tics. I have to think about the kind of therapy I will apply. Okay. So the other side of, of Eddie hasn't come out yet. Oh my god, the dark man. Who is the dark man? That's the question. That's a nice kitchen, bro. I really like this. Okay, the music is stopped. That's another thing. Uh, I'm trying to do this. I'm going to try to do this without any cuts because you can't turn off the uh, in-game music. And I hate the way it sounds when you cut. So, yeah, whatever. <laughs> the light shines in the darkness. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello? Hello? Steven? Are you here? Steven? It's Eddie. We just got a call from Eddie. What the hell is this? Yeah, I'm just gonna put that down. I'm just gonna put that down. Eddie, I'm lost. I'm so sad. I lost my figurines. Please find them for me. Uh, what what figurines? I'm I'm gonna <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Let's uh, let's just search room by room. What's that? Okay, nothing. Let's go in here. What is that? That? Oh God! Okay, it's it's the pictures on that uh, on that drawing. I bought these at uh, the Dollar Tree. They were free. I'm a cheap dad. Oh God! Can you please stop that? Go in here. Yeah, a bird and, and a sad son. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever, man. Another poopy smearing. I'm ready to go home. Yeah, let's go home. Let's get out of here. We found one figurine, and I think there was three on that drawing. Oh, God. I'm so exhausted. This game is killing me. I'm waiting for the elevator to fall. Oh, God. Come on. Jeez. Get me off this thing. Okay, where do we go? My God! Okay, let's find the door. Okay, we're supposed to go through here. Alright, we got another recording. Patient Eddie, 
41. Day. <laughs> Having acquainted with the traumatic Eddie's past life, violence in the family and pathology, I've decided that I will use a less invasive method of treatment. We can handle without hypnosis. The confrontation with the past and dreams connected with some mild anxiolytics should be enough. Okay. I think that finishing the dream, so killing the wife and child can join his split selves. All we need to do is wait and observe. Ah, okay. So he definitely, definitely killed my wife and my kid. What the hell is that? And I don't think it said anything about my wife being dead. Dear Steve, in analyzing your previous letter and observation, I believe that the problem is connected with blank. Please give it uh, some more thought. I am worried about you and your family. When I come back from blank, I will visit you and we will talk. Abraham, P.S. Send your wife and child someplace. Make sure that they are safe. Yeah. I guarantee you. I can't remember if I read somewhere that if my wife got killed. But I guarantee you she's, she's dead as well. So this gardener has killed my son. At least that's what it's leading up to. There could be a twist. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going either. Oh, here we go. Oh my god! <sighs> Stupid hand dryer. Oh, look! Um... Yeah, somebody's in there pooping. <laughs> We've got a black toilet with another rubber ducky. Did it achieve it? <laughs> yeah, there's his other figure. Green. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> yep, I'm out. I've had enough. Let's check the other room. Should be the last one. If it is. Breaking if news. As the investigation has shown, the police have established that the brutal murder of the family of the famous doctor of psychology was caused by the local gardener, Edward S. Told you. I told you. This Edward dude. Ah. More psychology pictures. What's this? Yes! I found him. I got him. Right, let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. What the hell? Oh my god. What the hell was that? Um. Uh, this uh, a psychotic roller coaster, right? Oh my god. God, it's so loud. Crow again? Oh, God. Hello? Thank you, honey. But why? Why what? 
Oh no. No. What is this? Oh, it's a headlamp. Oh god. What is that? Yeah. Let's get a little closer. Do I go in there? Sir? Let's go in. Uh, okay. I think that killed me. Alright, so let's not go in there. Let's, let's go this way. Oh, God, this game, bro. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. What are we looking for? Okay. Sometimes I suffer terribly because I have to restrain myself. When I see you preparing dinner, holding a beautiful knife in your hand, I imagine us together with cold steel in your bowels. What? I look at your beautiful eyes glazed with tears and your life slowly fades. I dream of giving you a last kiss on your fading lips. Whoa. That. Let's hit F. That is crazy. To get, I want to read that again. Together with cold steel in your bowels, I look at your beautiful eyes glazed with tears, and your life slowly fades. I dream of giving you a last kiss on your fading lips. That is the true, that is the definition of a psychotic person. You imagine somebody out there really, like, have those type of feelings where they just, like, fantasize about stuff like this? Man, dude. Oh, that, that gave me chills, bro. That is a lot of pitchforks. Okay, hold on. Let's double check in here. Let's make sure that we're not missing anything. Ah, yep. Oh, duct tape. Uh, ah! <laughs> hmm. I forgot what I was going to say. We've got duct tape. I feel like we're missing something. What about this van? Aha! Is that a choo-choo train? Okay, so we need we need to turn on choo-choo train headlights to kill the to kill the demon. Okay. Oh well, we've got a we've got a, a hippie van right here. Maybe that'll work. Got back here, gardening stuff. This is Eddie's van. This is definitely Eddie's van. Ah, yeah, there we go. Duct tape. We hot wired it. Let Eddie the demon go to hell. The hell is this? A little mouse toy. A little wind up mouse toy. Dead body buried in garden. As a result of an ongoing investigation, the police have found the body of Theodore Dowell. That's his name, Theodore. The son of a well-known psychologist was murdered and buried in a greenhouse on the premises by gardener Eddie S. Edward S. Yeah, so, uh, so, yeah. So we know now that Edward killed my son. And he was buried, apparently, right there. <laughs> What's up with all these phones, man? God, my bowels hurt. Oh, God. I get all gassy when I play this stuff, man. Hello? Come for me. Please. Mom is lying here. She is so cold. Yep. My wife's dead. Yep. I knew it. I knew it. Eddie killed our wife and our son. <sighs> Great. So Eddie is the shadow man, apparently. Oh my god. Okay, what do we got here? There's the shadow man again. Turn that off. What in God's name is this? Okay, we can't go in there. Let's... What was that? Ah! 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 I'm sorry! All right, I took about three hours off. I'm back. Let's uh, let's continue on. 
Where'd we leave off? Let's see, what do we got here? <laughs> Honey, the office caved in. Like, what does that have to do with anything? <sighs> Let's just keep going, I guess. <laughs> Let's open this door. <sighs> this is, uh... what, Whatever the hell his name is. Dylan? I don't know. This is my son's room. <sighs> Unforgiving crows. Let's read this. Unforgiving Crows Animal Psychology by Juliet Simpson. Every morning, two crows named Thought and Memory are released and fly above the world. That's actually pretty cool. Thought and Memory are released. That's cool. I, I like that. I like that a lot. What are we looking for? What is... Yeah. <laughs> so, Edward killed our wife. There's the knife. There she is laying down. There's his crow head. And I don't know what that is to the left. I have no idea. But whatever. Edward, you son of a bitch. You killed my family. And I'm coming for you. I'm assuming it was Edward was the one watching the video. Let's go upstairs. What do we got here? Look in here. Doors open in here. I don't think I've ever been up here before. Oh, yep, there we go. Now we are upstairs. F. Memory 1942. But I'm more afraid of that memory. I'm more afraid that memory may return. Whatever, man. Oh, another tape recorder. Let's listen. Was that me? That must have been Eddie on the road. Where did I? <sighs> I don't know how I don't know how many jump scares I can take, man. I'm I'm at my my wits end with this game, dude. Hello? I forgot what that means. On Monday, Eddie was born. Oh, we can move. On Friday, he had a family on his own. On Wednesday, his dreams did not allow him to sleep. So on Thursday day, he visited the doctor to confess so deep. On Friday night, he did what the doctor told him to do. On Saturday, he did not have his family. He did the doom. He did the doom. The Sunday morning, he slept dull. The doctor was right. Nine years have gone. Is this marshmallow heaven? Uh, okay. I have no idea what that kid was talking about. I I'm assuming he was talking about Eddie. But it kind of didn't make no sense. Yeah! <laughs> cool! 
What is this? Patient. We've seen this before. Preliminary interview, initial diagnosis, test therapy, waiting for results. So he didn't test the new therapy, and he, didn't, he hasn't waited for the results. That's weird. I don't know what that means either. Let's just keep pushing on. Old Eddie. This is so confusing. <laughs> That was Eddie's laugh. That's Eddie. So I think that the bird knows dude is Eddie. Okay, let's read this. Theodore is a very talented child. He is very calm and he has the character of a dreamer. I think we've read this before. The only thing that disturbs me is the shadowy shape often appears in his drawings. It's probably a character from a comic book or something. Nothing to be worried about. Yeah, we've already read that. Wait a minute. Was that, was that dude the shadowy shape? So, I'm assuming the shadowy shape is Edward. Oh, God. Gain. Gain control over him. And then there was his laugh. So, yeah, I think that was a reenactment of, of Edward killing my wife. So, here's the weird thing, though. Like, why am I going through this? Let's read this. Where is the border between a dream and reality? What is our life? Is it, uh, is it that what is dreamt or that what we dream about? Uh, tell me, Dr. or Dear Suzanne. Uh, what would you do if you couldn't sleep? Uh, would you? Would you be able to take control over the dreams that does not come but haunt you? Eddie. I think we've read that as well. Let's keep pushing on. That was really weird to read. Oh. <laughs> and he falls off the bridge. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. You know, this is this kind of reminds me of what sleep apnea is like. You're running, you're getting comfortable, you try to sleep, and the bridge extends. That's weird. That's so weird. <laughs> oh! Okay. Uh, okay! <laughs> uh, what do we do now? We look up, walk. Nope. Uh, a little confused. Oh! What happened? Oh! Oh! What is this? Okay. There's another door. Another door. Watch this. Aha, I saw it appear. Okay. And we're back in the living room. Oh, man, dude, this game is so crazy. Steven, can I get into the bathroom for a while? Yeah, honey. Sure. As long as I can take a peep. Where's the bathroom? Decker. Decker Brothers. Okay, that's the bedroom. I hear I hear water. That's my son's room. What's this? Can't get in there. I don't remember there being a shower. Or a bathroom. Can't get in there. Really strange. Yeah, vanity. Let's read that. Whoa. Okay. Uh, 0405, 1975. Due to the many responsibilities, I don't have time to take care of the garden. I have asked Stephen to help me, to hire somebody to help. At least that much he can offer. That's all I asked for. 406, 1975. So this is a day later. 
I can't stand these uh, maniacal attempts to make a genius of our child. Steven is out of line. Wait a minute. Hold on. I can't stand these maniacal attempts to make a genius of our child. Is he talking about... Is, is that Eddie talking about it? God, I'm so confused. Steven is out of line, taking our child to hospital and uh, testing him with mental development methods is a sick fad. Sometimes I think that this marriage was a big mistake. It, this must be the wife talking. Yeah, this must be the wife talking. I will drive Teddy to his grandma. He could use a little break from his father. Wow. I'm confused. That, that's just super confusing. Whatever. Let's just keep going. That's got to be the, the shower or something. Honey? Oh, here it is. Towel from the bedroom? I forgot about it completely. Towel from the bedroom. Okay. Uh, I don't remember seeing a towel. Oh. Ah, there it is. Gotcha. Okay. What are we in store for here? Uh, honey, can I take a, a peep? Oh man, let me let me just take a peep. There's your towel. Can I can I peep? <laughs> uh oh uh oh uh oh crows. Who? Uh, I don't know. I'm sorry. Who is he now? Ah, uh, so confused. Can I, can I please leave? Can I take a peek? Oh. Okay, let's see. I have mixed feelings about our relationship. Steeman is my employer, and I owe him a lot. I know this is not a discussion to be held... Uh, through a letter <sighs> Let's meet in the garden in two days the usual spot Edward Wait a minute. So is this a letter from Edward to Susan? Yeah, this, that's what this is. This is a letter from Edward to Susan. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I Really hope they tie this together later on. Oh, it's open now. Now what? Oh God! Not the phone again. Hello? I'm staying at my parents' house with Teddy tonight. Teddy. Staying at my parents' house with Teddy. I'm I'm so confused, dude. What's this? Dear Abraham, thank you so much for sending me Dr. Alfred uh, Bennett's publication about the verification of children's IQ. Thanks to it, I have come up with a great idea. I will not let you in on the details yet. I do not want to jinx it. All I can say is that it will be connected with increasing the IQ of very small children in the initial part of their mental development. It will be revolutionary. Imagine this. Intellectual elites developed from their earliest age to advance our world in science. The mankind way witnessed great discoveries thanks to my research. Uh, the mankind may... Witness great discoveries? I don't know. Greetings, Stephen. Okay. Mr. Abraham. Alright, let's, let's get out of here. Anything crazy gonna happen? Let's use the elevator. Nope. Can't use the elevator. Let's check all the rooms. Let's check this. Nothing there. Nothing. Okay, there's nothing in here. Let's keep pushing. Anything in here? Oh, we got a locked box. And another tape recorder. Let's listen. Research theme. The test of the therapy increasing the intelligence among children. The subject of the research, Theodore Dowell. The first attempts to increase IQ, I started using suggestion and manipulation method during REM sleep. The subject handled the experiment very well. I began the observation and started the manual visual tests phase. So he's doing experiments on his son. What was that? 
Okay. Got a crib here. And I don't know what that's for. We'll just leave it on. Oh, yep. Yeah, elevator's opened. Great. <laughs> we get to go downstairs again. Fantastic. Oh my God. I really hate this elevator. I know something's going to happen. I'm expecting it. Oh my god, stop! Okay, back down here. <laughs> Sorry. Oh god. Oh god. Uh oh. The darkness. Oh, there's a light right here. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not going in there. I I've learned my lesson, okay? Let's start searching. I don't ah! Oh, God. Okay. Let's push on. We got here. Oh, God. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> no, no, I'm good. I'm going to leave this room, sir. <laughs> nope. I don't have nothing to do with uh, a fortune teller machine. I'll pass. Are we in a movie? Is this is this the movie Big? Oh, I hate those things, bro. I don't have nothing to do with that. Oh, God. What do we do? Let's turn it on. Oh, it's a, com it's a pattern of some sort. What have I done? Whoops. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay. Bam, 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 bam. Missing one. One. Two. Ah! Yeah? What just happened? Oh! We got a key. Okay, I'm assuming that's the key to the box upstairs. Can't go upstairs. The darkness is blocking us off. Okay, let's search these rooms, see what we can find. Nothing, 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 nothing. Okay, nothing in there. Oh, I don't like this room. I don't like it. Uh, yep, there's a light bulb. That's what we were looking for. Let's hope it works. Man, it's hard to breathe, man. There we go. Destroy the darkness. Okay, let's get back up. I know so at some point in this game, this elevator is going to fall. It's going to do something stupid. God, man, that sounds so bad. There's no way in hell that I would ever get on an elevator like this. Ever. Okay, let's go to the box. Uh, ah! What do we got in here? Rubber ducky? Dear... Hold on, let me read this. Dear Abraham, it's all gone to hell, my entire plan, all of it. Everything was based on suggestion and on an attempt to manipulate dreams in the rim phase. In the rim phase, I was testing it on my son, Teddy. I thought it would uh, not be harmful that I had nothing to lose. On the contrary, uh, I would be the one to form the first genius in the, families, in the family created with this method. His marks at school are higher, indeed. But he lacks empathy, and he has started to be afraid of the darkness. My wife uh, forbade, <laughs> for, I'm, I'm assuming that says forbid, me to continue my research. Why did I even attempt to try this on my son? I am abandoning this project and sending your materials back. Thank you for them. I will not need them anymore. P.S. I might have an interesting patient soon. Okay. Let's see. Got here. Alright, let's see, where is it? Ah! Ah! 
Oh, come on. <laughs> come on, man. Oh, God. That's the darkness man right there. I don't want to touch the doorknob again. Let's see. Okay, 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 okay. Just let me out. Let me out. Okay. Bro. I'm ready, I'm ready to go to sleep, man. I'm, I'm ready to just go to sleep. I want to be done with this. My God. Where are we? This is beautiful. Oh, my God. Okay, so we're out in the garden. And, dude. This is amazing. I need to break the cycle somehow. This cycle. Wow. Dude. This is gorgeous, man. I went from being in a nightmare to being in heaven. You know, it's weird. <clears throat> this reminds me of a time in my life where the sun is just right and it makes all the flowers and the leaves glow that's really strange I just had like a flashback a really good time in my life and yeah this is beautiful I really hope that the game does not ruin this for me and look how green everything is in that light so beautiful Ah, bolt cutters. We'll be taking those. Okay, let's get back and cut the chains off. Like, I really want to enjoy this. This is beautiful. I get that. Music's beautiful, too. This game is nailed atmosphere. Absolutely nailed it. So good. I hope this company develops many more games. So awesome. Okay. Get this, man. This is this is too good. All right, let's let's move on. Look at how green the leaves are. Oh, I went a deer, or doe, or whatever. I could live here. You know, this is a VR game as well. And I'm about to start playing a lot of VR games. I'm waiting for my index to come in. I got a new VR setup coming. Okay. Now, this is a long walk. Let's run. I want to enjoy it, but for time's sake, we'll run. Oh, wow. Dude, this is beautiful. I should still do something here. Hmm. Okay. Looks like we've got a swing. Somebody's having a picnic. Oh, here's a note. Let's read. The strange session with Teddy have allowed to obtain the outcomes that my husband so strongly desired. Let's hit F. Is a toxic father-son relation worth it? Teddy is no longer as happy as he had been before. He had become very afraid of the darkness. There's a lot of typos in this. On the other hand, this is normal at his age. I truly don't know. I can only rely on Eddie, but he seems strange recently. Okay. This is the next or this is 2 days later. I have been trying to improve my marriage, but the complete lack of Steven's interest is just killing me. He is constantly talking about his new treatment method. I feel imprisoned in, the, in this relationship. I cannot see any future for it. 
I know it is a bit reckless, but I am beginning to feel freer with Eddie. Oh my god. I enjoy the interest that only he is giving me. Oh no. My wife is fucking with Eddie. So maybe, maybe we're the killer. Maybe we got too caught up in work, right? And she started seeing Eddie, and maybe we got jealous. Maybe we're the murderers. I don't know, man. This story is going everywhere. I like it. Oh, man, that's beautiful. Okay, let's see. Can we get on now? I should still do something here. What did we, what did we miss? <clears throat> okay. Ah, <laughs> we needed a paddle. See if it works now. And yes. Yeah. Oh my god. Dude. Wow, it's really bright out here. Oh, the mist is coming in. The meth heads are coming in. Look at that vape cloud. Either that or the sun is really bright. I need some sunblock. Okay, what's about to happen? Is this the end of... Oh, no. We're back in Marshmallow Land. What do we got now? New memories? Therapy increasing the intelligence among children. Intelligence among children. So st it's so crazy that we did experiments on our own son. I mean, I understand he was trying to make him more intelligent, but kids don't need to be more intelligent, man. Kids need to be loved. That's what kids lack these days. Guidance and love. Just for a while, to fulfill my dreams. Oh, God. She's sleeping with Eddie, bro. Our romance in the garden. That had to be my wife, obviously. Talking about Eddie. Or talking to Eddie, I should say. Man, this is screwed up, bro. Uh, uh. The subject handled the experiment very well. Experiment very well. We got the fortune tellers. Why did they even put those in this game? Like, what do they have to do with anything? The fortune tellers. <laughs> Weird. Uh oh. Things are getting red. Oh God, what is this? A courtroom? Oh, I hate courtrooms. I think courtrooms are my least favorite place in the world. I hate them. I hate going to court. And I've been to court several times. I hereby open the trial against Edward about Susan Dowell. I hereby open the trial against Edward. So we went to court over this. Obviously an American court. Oh man, get me out of here. Oh, there's a door. Okay. What now? Please get me out of here. Are we in jail? We're in jail. So maybe we were the killers. Maybe I killed my son and my wife because I was jealous. Maybe I found him. I don't know. I have no idea. Can I get out of here? No, I guess not. We're trapped. Uh, what was that? Okay, now we can... Now we can leave. Why is there blood all over everything? Let's just push on. Let's just keep moving. Search every room. What's this? Okay, interrogation uh, protocol. In the case of the murderer, the Susan Dow and Theodore Dow. Suspect Edward. Uh, interrogation conducted by blah 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 Samuel Wilson. After many attempts to make contact with the suspect, we still do not have any information. The accused is constantly smiling and uh, indistinguishable. In instinctual. I can't say that word. Instinctually repeating a sentence that reads, "The nightmares have stopped. His gaze is absent." He does not maintain eye contact with the uh, interlocutor. 
he probably does not make anything out of position that he is in. He probably does not make anything of the position he's in. Without the presence of a forensic psychologist, we are not able to obtain more information. It is assumed that the case will be closed with an insanity plea. So Edwards pleading insanity. Like, I don't know if we're playing from the... God, this is so screwed up, man. Like, are we playing from the eyes of Eddie or Steven? It could be Eddie. Because of how crazy he is. He's going through all this stuff. Good. So maybe you would tell us about your authorial therapy. What do you think, Mr. Dow? Can you hear me? It's better now, isn't it? So, can we continue? Great. Hey. Did you know that Susan Dow was pregnant? Wait a minute. Dowell? That's my last name. What's Eddie's last name? And she was pregnant. So did Eddie knock her up? God, I'm so confused. So that was me in there. So the, so the bird face is Steven. Mr. Dowell, right? I don't know. Let's, uh... <laughs> this is so crazy, bro. All right, let's read. John... I know that tomorrow is a uh, Bowman shift, so I've hidden the key for the door switches in a safe place. Don't tell him anything. Let's drive him nuts for a while. Uh, okay. All right, so that's locked. we got to find a key or something to get in there. Dude, this is so screwed up. What is this, the evidence room? Let's see, keep an eye out for anything. Where did that lead? All right, let's keep pushing. It's awfully quiet. I don't like that. Search everything. What is this? Okay, the suspect is shocked. There uh, is no rational contact with him. It is understandable in his position. He hasn't said anything new. After the murder, there was mainly different comments from the psychology world and the press. The witness has only mentioned that his therapy for curing a mental split disorder had been very ineffective. He hasn't commented on that. That was just interrogation protocol. Oh, looks like we've got another lock. With a combination. Okay. Okay, so we're looking for a combination. Let's see. What do we got? Anything in here? Nothing in here. And what is this? That's some Morse code shit. Ah, okay, so we've got to figure out the code. All right, let, let's see. How many, how many, I'm assuming there were three numbers. Let's see what the first number is. Bum, 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 three. Bum, 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 two. Bum, 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 bum. seven. Three, two, seven. Okay, that's the combination. Let's go here. Three, pass up two, go all the way around, two, and then go back right to seven. I hope, I hope that's how it works. I can't remember. Yes! Got it. Okay, what do we got in here? Yep, there's the key. All right. Wow. That was surprisingly easy. All right, where's that room at? I think it's in here. Yep. Okay. Something like this. There we go. What do we got in here? Let's hit the middle button. Or switch, I should say. Telephone. There is the telephone. Oh, God. Oh, there it is. Oh, here we go. Listen, Bowman. Give me some creeps, Doctor. I won't manage alone. Give me some creeps, huh? What is this? The examination conducted by Dr. Maslow's team should not be taken into consideration during the investigation. Dr. Maslow could influence the examination in order to help his friend, Dr. Bandura says. Dr. Dowell was known for his controversial methods of treatment and is in fact that in the past he has probably led to a patient's death, he adds. I think I kind of read that wrong, but whatever. All right, whatever. Let's just keep going. How do I get out of here? What are we looking for? Oh, God. Oh, wow. Another courtroom. 
You know, I think I get more anxiety in a courtroom than any place on in like the entire world. And the funny thing is, this kind of like looks like my local town's courthouse room. Yeah, exactly like this, actually. It's like it's it. Oh, I can't stand it. It gets so quiet in there, you can't even swallow without everybody in the room hearing it. And what's up? What's up with this fence? Like, why do they put a fence right here? It, that even makes you nervous. You're like, where do you go? Do you walk through the fence? Like, I don't know. I hate courtrooms. <laughs> I hereby open the trial against Edward Herod about Susan Dowell and Theodore Dowell's murder. Do the prosecutor and counsel wish to say anything before the trial has started? Oh, my God. I would like to enclose the report about my client's insanity to the evidence, as well as recordings made by Dr. Dowell during the therapy. Mr. Edward, could you tell us about the relation that was between you and Mrs. Susan Dow, Dr. Stephen Dow's wife, that tried to cure you? I would like to enclose documents from Susan Dow's autopsy to the evidence. Basing on these, Your Honor, as well as the jury can get to know that the victim was pregnant with the defendant. Oh, God. I'm so confused, dude. So confused. Okay. Uh, what are we looking for? Okay, let's read this. Interrogation Protocol 521-1977. In the case of the murder of Susan Dow and Theodore Dow. Theodore Dow. Okay, yeah. Suspect Stephen Dow. Uh, the interrogation is conducted, conducted by Chief Inspector Samuel Wilson and Forensic uh, Psychologist Mr. Richard Jackson. After the appearance of the new evidence, which is Susan Dow's autopsy protocol, we have come to know that she was in the first month of pregnancy. Furthermore, the father of the child is suspect Edward Blurred. Why, why do they blur his last name? Oh, man. Okay, we have established that Stephen had a motive and the skills to manipulate Edward. During interrogation, the suspect showed lack of contact with his interlocutors. Interlocutors? I don't know. He experienced avalent state, ambivalent states from hysteria attacks to complete apathy. During interrogation, the accompanying psychologist came up with the thesis that Mr. Dow's insanity, which might have been caused by many traumatic experience in a short period of time. I, I don't know, man. Uh, oh! Open the trial against Stephen Dowell about malpractice against Edward. It caused Susan and Theodore Dowell's death. Did the prosecutor and counsel wish to say anything before the trial has started? My client, as a doctor, always takes care about patients' welfare. In the enclosed evidence, Your Honor may read about many difficult cases that have been cured by the defendant. He was trying to cure his protege at any cost to ease the pain. I would like to enclose to the evidence the description of one therapy conducted by the defendant, which, as we can read, also finished with a failure. The girl, with similar illness like Edward, who under the influence of the therapy made suicide, and did the defendant realize that his wife was pregnant? Not with him, but with Edward? <sighs> Man. Okay, so... Apparently, what we did to him made him crazy. So we gave him our therapy, which I'm thinking is the intro scene to the game, us watching the video, and it made him psycho. I don't know, that's all I've got so far. And then he killed our wife and our kids, and he was he was banging my wife. What's this? Tragic events from the friend's past had a very bad influence on his mental health condition. Dr. Uh, Abraham Maslow, friend of the accused suspect of manipulating Dr. Stephen Dowell, which in turn has led him to murder his family. So now they're saying I murdered my family. I, den I deny the rumor saying that Stephen pretended to have a mental incompetence. I have examined him. He is also examined by other psychologists and psychiatrists who were strange to him. I don't know. So, I don't know who killed my wife and kids. They're saying it's me. I got accused of it. Maybe I was set up. I don't know. Am I playing as Eddie? Am I playing as Steven? I don't know. What is this, a rubber room? Or are those tiles? I don't know. I don't care. Let's, let's, let's get out of here. Oh, no, we can't. Something searching here. We got anything in here. Nothing. Hey, that's showing my office. That's strange. The reflection of my office. Steve, can I see you in my office? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Where's your office? So, I'm. this is me. I'm playing as Steven. Because he said Steven. Can I see you in my office? All right. 
this your officer? Uh oh, what's this? Mother and seven year old murdered. Woman receives 30 stab wounds two days after the child is strangled during sleep. The father of the family is one responsible for the commission of all these horrible acts. How are you feeling today? Everything's okay? I think it's time to show you something. Let's go to the next room. Have a seat and make yourself comfortable. Okay. Thank you, doctor. Go into the next room. Oh no. What is this? Our relationship started to pass away suddenly. Stephen treated me like a lodger, unwanted person, with whom he lived because it was a kind of interest. And I, I started to live on memories and projections that were so beautiful in my head, so perfect. Stephen was in them like years before, like when we moved into our new house and we planned to make a big garden only for us. These memories made me stronger, helped me to survive, and wait for tomorrow with hope. First time, I thought that maybe I'm only dreaming, or the projections about him became ridiculously strong. He came to me like before, smiling, happy, with sparkles in his eyes. Similar situations repeated in the next weeks, and I, instead of looking for their source, was waiting till my loving Stephen came back, just for a while to feel like before, like years ago. At the beginning of our relationship, Stephen often told me about interesting things from the psychology ward. During his studies, he met with the case of a patient with multiple personalities. I remember well this case because it seemed to be very exciting. So many different personalities in one body that differ in IQ, beliefs, talents, and even visual acuity. I hid my husband's illness to meet with Eddie his second personality, to feel happy just for a while, to fulfill my dreams. During our romance, we often met in the garden. Today, I again talked with Eddie. He is in very bad condition. Steven's therapy started to even scare him, he says. He must make terrible things to be cured and finally take a breath. As a last resort, I will send this recording to Abraham. Oh my god. I am Eddie and Steven. I'm the dude with the multiple personalities. Okay, that makes sense. So I gave Eddie therapy. It drove him crazy. Which led me to kill my son and my wife. Now it all makes sense. Oh, okay. Stuff on the ceiling. There. Oh, oh, God. Let's just keep moving. Yeah, 1408. Can't go through. <laughs> What's that? Rubber ducky. Okay. Oh, uh, open the door. Oh, no. Oh, God. White door. Teddy bear? Ah! Oh, God! It was me. Einhorn is Finkel. Finkel is Einhorn! Einhorn is a man! Okay. I cannot. I can't believe it. Let's just keep going. Oh god. Oh god. It says unknown on there. Oh! Keep going. God, what is this? Oh, whoa. I can 
see all the bodies falling. That's crazy. Oh! oh my god. It doesn't feel like home anymore. But I will stay. Bro, what a crazy game. Wow, that was the total package. Beautiful music, beautiful atmosphere, terrifying, with an awesome story and a twist on the end. I should have known. I should have known that entire time. Oh my god. That was amazing. That was amazing. Steam community special thanks. Man, I wish I could have been a part of that. Thank you for playing. Share your feedback with us on the Steam community. Wow. That's amazing. Amazing. Let's hit continue. I am completely blown away. That was awesome. That was a real treat. Scary, yeah, but a treat. That was a twisted story. Okay, I guess that about wraps it up. Don't forget to check me out on Twitch every Saturday around 12 o'clock EST. Uh, if you want to support the channel, check me out on Patreon. We are doing a banned gameplay series for the $10 tiers and up. If you're interested in that, go check it out. Follow me on Instagram. We just started a new Facebook. Go check out the merch. It's all in the description. Just scroll down and check out all the links. You won't be disappointed. I love you guys. Oh, my God. And I will see you in the next one. Ah. Uh. I'm sorry! We're there!